Right, who do you, the BBPN and guests, big surprise today, yeah, yes, indeed, it is a big surprise for some of us there. It is bloody awful today, yeah, because BBPN Season 11 All-Stars is waiting for the two off playoff games to finish off here, but we're going to go and take a look at bloody awful's playoff games here, because, yep, they're going at it, full 16, here we go! Good golly, Miss Molly. Christ, listen to that crowd there. They are intense and ready for this one here. All right, turn it down there, lads. Turn it down. Thank you very much. Thank you very much there. Let them play. All right, so... As we did present earlier on there, you did see we had, you know, some of the wildcard qualifiers that actually did determine who actually went off to face the standing qualifying eight firms. From that, the Battle Royale indeed does begin there. Who do you indeed here? Yep, winner of this one goes on to the final eight. Loser, that's it to the tar pits with them. And yeah, as you can see, it's your fucking favourite and mine. It's the fucking Chorfs again. Yeah, it's indeed fucking Chorfs. On the other side there, of course, is the Necro Firm. As you can see, Necro does have two reserves. Chorfs now reserves here, but as you can see, a plethora, that is the word for it, a plethora of skills, and you can see, yep, yeah, once again, it's another fucking kill team. Why is this never a surprise at all at all? Mind you, he does have one very talented Hobgoblin there. AG increase and movement increase, that is going to be the likely key for this firm. Well, seriously, that will be the key. However, here is already, you can see the first big mistake being made. Yep, yeah, he's putting all the troughs in the back, AV9... And he's keeping all the... He's got two of his only four Hobgoblins in the front. We'll see how well this actually works out in there. Because anyone would tell you that is a huge coaching mistake. All right. Solid kick. And meanwhile, free reroll there for the undead. They will definitely need it. Woohoo! Overtime. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it overtime. But you know what I mean. Anyway, there we go. Solid kick. And run away. We're on our way. All right. First hit of the day there. There we go. Solid kick. Solid takedown, and there's the KO immediately. Decimated. Gee, that's KO already. Let's take a look at that armor roll. Well, gosh, oh D, oh darn, that would have failed against the Chorf, and there's another KO. No problem. Impressive. And there you go. Both Hobgoblins are gone. Both Hobgoblins indeed are gone. Let's take a look at that armor roll. Ah, oh gee, that would have missed if it was a Chorf. Funny that! So, boy, your strategy there. Congratulations, you just pissed away two players that didn't need to fucking be there. Well fucking done, and well done on not trusting your firm. We'll see how well your firm applauds to you there. Meanwhile, comes in double skulls already. The Necros, well, they want that free reroll. It's basically gone at this point here. And the rest of the lads move on up here, now enjoying a nice and comfortable two-player advantage. And then, of course, he fumbles the ball. There's the throw back in all the way on the sideline there. And that, indeed, is a golden opportunity there. Mistake. All right. Now, if you are the Chorps, yes, I'm pausing this up here because you decided to put your ball sent off. Granted, you've only got one. But how is that supposed to take advantage of that? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. You can mark it and you need to mark this. But you've set up extremely passively. It's very odd. So here it is, a golden opportunity that you should easily be able to recover. And what if you've done? You've set up extremely conservative. Your chops. I'll say this again. Your chops. Everyone knows how coaching chops works. Like that. That's how it fucking works. 
So, why did you set up so conservative? All right, you've been given a, pl a free choice here by, by Nuffle, and you've decided to piss on it. Don't be surprised if Nuffle never gives you a chance like that again. Meanwhile, let's continue on here. Block, 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 stand firm, fall down, and well, nothing broke and the troughs achieved. Nothing. Nothing did we mention. Nothing. Sigh. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. It's almost like you're detecting a rant here already. Well, of course there's a rant here. There is a way and a style of how you're supposed to play this firm. As I've tried saying and repeat again on these broadcasts here, the education is, look, there is a style and there is a grace to how you run each firm. And then, of course, there's this lot. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Well, there we go. There's a stun. Don't worry. He didn't break anybody. Here he goes. Trying to pick up the ball. Easy peasy. Hardly squeezy. And then he stands there. All right. Awkward. Now, the fun part is, if you'd actually bothered with your ball centaur, this is in strike range. But you didn't even move him. Okay. I guess winning isn't important to you, is it? All right, well, let's carry on. Oh, I see. Yep, typical trough coach here. Let's go for the claw on the block. And guess what? That didn't break anything. Would you like to try that again? You may fire when ready. <sighs> and you can already hear the trough coach complaining. It's not working! It's not working! Look, you're the one putting yourself in this mess. Why do you think you're not winning? You're doing this to your fucking self. All right. All right, power of darkness, power of push me, piss off. Gets a shove, that's all he achieves there. And that's the trough turn. Once again, absolutely zero effort to go get the ball. Zero fucking effort. All right, there we go. Block on block here, the necro form. Keeping an eye on what actually is important in this game. And so far, they're keeping a relentless pressure. And they're doing pretty good considering, hey, they're down, you know... They might be down here, but certainly not out. And don't worry, as you can see, because they were given a free slide, they've recovered the calico. And that's what they're supposed to do. All right, counterattack here by the iffy little motley. It gets the takedown, and this just moves back. That's all he needs to really do there. Executed with impunity. It feels that way, but now the fouling finally begins. Woohoo! The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it's only a stun, but that's fine. Don't worry. Ed doesn't call that because, well, you're fucking troughs. Why would he help you? If you're not going to try to win, why should the referee help you win? All right, simple. Oh, the ball sitting to a learns how to move now. He's only not been moving for two fucking turns when there's an open ball. All right, carry on. All right, troughs, go right back to what they do last. There's a punch. There's a hit. Panda! Fucking Shut up! And there's a stun, but that's all he gets out of it. Meanwhile, over here, Hobgoblin. Nice hit right there. Fantastic. See, the Hobgoblins are doing a fucking better job so far. They really are doing a better job. You know, maybe you should have actually trusted in them. No? Maybe not? Who knows? Alright, change your beers then, son. This could be a long day. Alright, two die block over here on the flank. Another zombie taking it on the chin. Goodbye! Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. What was this? He was complaining about his easy button here. Well, apparently it's working now. It's back to working. You must have got it unjizzed. It's no longer stuck. Alright, here we go. Solid push, solid hit. Chooses not to follow up. Good smart play here. Force the troll to actually do some work here. And meanwhile, Necrofirm, turn four. Still slowly but surely proceeding down the field. Push me, fuck you. Shoves this trough out of the way. And now it's time for face ripping, because that's everyone's favourite game around here. Come on, here we go. Gets a nice little claw rip. Gets the lad and takes him down for a while here. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I can only fucking wish. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to get a game that way. Uh, my dream will never come true. Meanwhile, here comes the iffy mot moving up here. Fun fact, he shouldn't have the ball. If the trough coach had set up correctly, this would likely actually, of all things, be a trough ball. But, like I said, highly conservative setup there and deciding not to go get the ball. And we'll see how well this works. Yeah. Go not chops, exactly. I can hear that one there. I can hear it. It's ringing through my ears. 
All right, power of Dauntless. Oh, he got the block, got the takedown, and guess what? Claw doesn't work. And then he chooses not to pile on. Okay. Uh, amazing. I know. It's just bizarre. Well, he thinks he's going to need it later. Are you now? Um, he moves eight. I don't think so, lad. I really don't think so. But you know what? Fill yourself. See how well this works. All right, turns around. Here we are, turn eight. Once again, just powering on here. Necro Firm. Well, they, they've now had a bit of a turnaround here. We're now back to nine on nine. They lost two zombies. But, like I said, they haven't lost sight of the goal that is important in this game. Scoring! All right, well, let's take advantage of the Bill Bexley speed here. And yes, if he moves over here, meanwhile, the other one's just going to keep doing his job. That is an awkward block that will kind of work because, hey, the power of stand firm. And he green re-rolls it. Mind you, it's turn five. I don't fault you re-rolling that one considering you still had the three re-rolls. It's not a bad re-roll. Unfortunately, it just, well, doesn't work. You just made the list. He's made a list, all right. And he's checking it twice. Going to find out who's naughty and who's knackered. All right, there we go. Solid hit, solid push. That's all he achieves over there. Chorfs swinging and blowing here. Oh, there we go. There's the takedown. No problem. Now the Chorf gets back up. Waddles over here as we speak. You're now seeing an interesting pattern, though. You've noticed that too, did you? He's gotten kind of preoccupied. Forgotten about this little thing called a ball. Just look where all the Chorfs are. They're all clustered in one half of the field. This leaves only this lad to actually be mobile here. And here he goes. Charges in. Goes after the ball carrier. Makes the GFI. Push me. Fuck you. But he does get the tackle. There we go. Behold. He's remembered where the fuck the goddamn ball is. <laughs> Bravo. It only took him five turns to finally take advantage of an opportunity there. And he's made use of it. Good job. Wait to a minute, you gotta give credit where credit's due this. Stand firm! Yeah, fuck you too, he ain't moving anywhere, twinkle tits. And here we are, turn six here for the Necro Firm. They do have to recover this. Remember, it does have tackle, so it's not an easy dodge. It's easier, but, you know, it's not the easiest. Aha! There's a turn of phase. All right, moves the other lad around here. And here it comes, the counter blitz. He's gonna see if he can get rid of this little bastard. Well, two dice, push me, fuck you. And he's going to try this again for two dice. Push me. Fuck you again. So much for that idea. Stupid idiot. Well, at least he moved him back. Meanwhile, there's a nice little blow there by the zombie. Are you my money? I don't care. All right. Knocks the poor bastard down. Remember, he is AG2. Doesn't have bright tackle. So, yep. There we go. Or not. You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. Complete lack of ball handling skills, ladies and gentlemen. Complete utter fucking lack of ball handling skills. Arr, arr, arr. You need time in the brothel there, lad. All right, stand firm. And again, not getting anywhere. All right, well, we'll keep on trying this, son. At this point here, troughs, I hate to admit, are achieving the objective. They're stopping the drive here. They are indeed stopping the drive. Another stand firm, and he's still not fucking moving. How about you? All right, one die, gets it. There's the knockdown, gets the take, and he even manages to crack the fucking armor. That's crap. Shit. I really, really think that's so. All right, push me, push you on the blitz, and where the fuck are you going? Well, he's going back to being a free safety. At this point, actually the right decision. All right, and then the fail... And then the failed dodge. Would you like to try that again? Your creatures are becoming angry. Oh, well, doesn't one and nine it there. It does make it on the second try. AG4 never fails, of course. And then he just tucks him in there to keep him nice and safe. I do agree. you got to keep that player safe in this case here. The, the talent needs to stay safe. All right, me will over here. Well, let, why will you... Why? Why? What's done is done. Why did you throw that block with no reroll? Why the fuck did you throw it? It serves zero purpose, and if it fails, that happens. Oh, fucking brilliant, lad. Ups are fucking brilliant there, lad. Remember, you don't have any reserves. That was a foolish greed block, and it's kicked them in the arse. Turn seven. And there's the takedown. <laughs> And there's the apothecary. Oh, I don't blame him for that one. 100% that apothecary needed to be used. But that is one injured chorf. 
And yes, look at the injury roll. He had no choice. He had to apothecary that one there. Now he's right in apothecary because now, because of his foolish one night block that served zero purpose, he now has no choice but to burn an apothecary on a badly hurt, but the player should have still been there. <coughs> Basically, once again, he's put himself in that very position. All right, and there goes the Yiffy Mott. Come on, you little lad. Let's go and find that end zone there. I right hear there's touchdowns to be head down there. Run, bitch! Run! Chorfs! Now you see my point there about the pivot. Yep, all the trolls are in the wrong spot. They're all on one side. He's gradually moved this way. Uh, why did you blitz there? No, seriously. Why, why, why was the attack actually there when this is what you need to take care of? He's got the movement. He can do it. No? Alright, well he gets the tag anyway there. So much for that idea. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Probably did. Probably indeed did. Turn 8. Alright, goes in. Well, makes the wrestle. Beautiful use of the skill there. And now Necro Firm. One reroll left remaining here. It's like, you now what? Well, let's do a bit extra hits. So if we can get lucky. Remember, the apothecary has been burned. I mean, what? There we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown right there. Gets his knock. Meanwhile, over there. Well, there he goes. All the speed in there. Yep. He scores. It's in. One to nil for Necro. They definitely earned that one. They definitely earned that one. Funny, you're still hanging on to your wizard there, Chorf. Yep, wizard. he's got he's got that. He's got a bribe. He's got booze. And guess who stayed out? Yep, the Hobgoblin. And of course, oh yes, the foolish injury on our block that he shouldn't have thrown in the first place with no rear L. Talk about getting greedy at the worst fucking time. All right, let's make it very simple here. Chorfs now need to start racking up some serious casualties. As you can see, they've got the work ahead of them there to try and even the numbers. They need at least three removals. Real removals, not artificial removals. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. If you subscribe to the Jimmy Fantastic that it's removals is the key and that doesn't work, you better have a plan B. I've got a sincere doubt he's got a plan B here, but we will see. We will indeed see. There we go. Someone, actually, anyone, can you just go and move? <laughs> well, it's not like you're scoring, and it's not like you've actually playing for a chain push, which, funny enough, you actually could do here. You do have a movement nine piece if you did this right. No? Not even bothering. Okay. That's la vista, baby. Okay, you know, you could have tried. You could have set this up and tried at least going for it. You could have tried. I give no guarantee it's going to work because you also have break tackle. But again, I remind you, it's a fucking dice game. It really is. Jervis told me that ever since the old early days. All right, well, we're just going to go for casual removal. This is his plan A. This is his plan A. Oh, look, he gets the hit, knocks him over here. That's fine. Three dice. Oh, look, here's the block. There's the takedown. And the zombie's just fine. Uh, are we sticking a boot in somewhere? We might, you know. Yep, he's sticking the boot in there. Well, at least he's consistent. Yeah, well, the horror might be true there, but remember... Constable Ed's wife's anniversary there, so you do have to pay the cost of admission. There we go. Easy peasy. He makes the hit. No problem. Oh, yeah. And he also makes this nice little cheese patient too. All right. There we go. It's all summed up there. So there you go. Beheld your halftime. 1-0 for the Necro Firm. This halftime, of course, is being brought to you by everyone's favorite Starbucks coffee. Because one has to grind up mermaids to make the best kind of coffee. Starbucks coffee. Just don't go there if you're black. I know, awkward that one, isn't it? That's always been an awkward one there. Oh, it's true! Shut up, it's true! 
We know it's true. That's the problem. It shouldn't be. Come on, lads. Do better. Well, I know most of you, the supporters, would do better there. Yeah, marking. All right, let's turn this around. I said cameraman. Thank you. Let's turn this around here. Well, you can see the KO did indeed recur you know, <laughs> return. See, I'm sober. This is the problem here. I'm clearly 100% sober. This is a problem. Shorts. Well, the team is built with one strategy. One. Removals. This is how he's built. He still has a wizard in hand. So I'll be candid and very blunt. They should score this. However, yeah, well, they've got the talent. They've got to keep him alive. They should be able to easily do this. But then again, as we always said, we know what Chorf coaching is. It's that. It's pure and simple that. However, there we go. Free reroll. Oh, my. All right, it's for the Necros because they've got the fame. So well done. They go and steal that one away. Well, your Chorfs. It's not like you need rerolls. It's absolutely true. There. There we go. Hulk. Smash. See? Not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Typical trough coaching. See? There's removal. Meanwhile, I can hear the trough coach already complaining. It's only a KO. Fuck off. It's off the pitch. If even the number's up 10 on 10. All right. Big solid punch right there. No problem. All right. Here we go. Another swing and a punch. Ah, wrestle. He hates that fucking wrestle, doesn't he? He really fucking hates it. It pisses him off every time. All right, charges in with the claw. Uses the Dauntless. He wants a dead flesh golem. And he greed re-rolls it. He greed re-rolls it on turn nine. Or he spends a re-roll. And how well did that work? Damn, I'm good. Oh, you know, because apparently that didn't work. His thinking is he absolutely needs removal. And again, he's sticking to the strategy of plan A, removals. Plan B, uh... All right. We will see if he needs that reroll back later. We will see. All right, stage is up. Easy peasy. Happy peasy. He's got the calico. Now he's going to use a bit of caution. All right, fine. I, there's nothing wrong with that at this point here. There's nothing wrong with it at all here. All right, Necro Firm, the counterattack. Oh, look. This is why everyone hates this boss. He's got dodge. <laughs> bravo, son. Bravo. All right, well, Chops. You've got to score. The initiative's all on you. You need to score. You've got one removal. Yes, it's a KO. You can complain all you want, but it is indeed a removal. And you've got a wizard in hand. So again, this is not difficult. At least it shouldn't be. And meanwhile, here comes the Iffy Mott going in for the face removal. Here gets a nice solid hit. Gets a takedown. That's about all he achieves. Crap! <laughs> I know. He can swear all he wants. Turn 10 for the funky Trophy Maniacs. There we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Solid nothing. Right, would you like to try that again there, Sunshine? I bet you would. Meanwhile, solid hit right there. Big punch. Big takedown. And he got him. <laughs> all right, fine. Gets the takedown. That's about all he does. But at least it moves things down a little bit there. All right, meanwhile, troll for maniacs, nice and casual here. Move on up. They figure this is pretty easy. So far, so good. Oh, here's the blitz we're all waiting for. The power of Dauntless, the power of push me, push you. Doesn't re-roll it this time. He's learned his lesson for the first. Crap! <laughs> meanwhile, he's allowed to say crap. I'd agree at that point. All right. Necromaniacs here. Well, close and engage seems to be the rule here. Can you keep the stall going? I don't know, can he? We're going to find out. Oh, there it is. Double skull. That was a bit overdue. I'll be honest. That was a bit overdue. But there's the face rip. He takes him down. No problem. Then moves up there just to keep the engagement going. Because the Iffy Mutt just doesn't want to dodge. I don't blame you there, Sunshine. Mind you, you do have three rerolls. You're kind of in okay shape. But you can see why he doesn't dodge. Because of the failed double skull. Yeah, that's basically it right there. If he still had a reroll, bet he would have tried it. All right, solid force forward. And welcome to turn 11. All right, Chorfs. Well, either you make the magic happen or you start establishing which way you're going here. All right, either or. Pick one. All right, well, he's picked a side. Yeah, it looks like he indeed has picked the side. Here we go. Nice little blitz right there. Two dice. Gets the power. That's what he loves to see. And he even gets the removal. Beautiful. Silence! I kill you! 
Well, how about you KO him? You, you can only find so much of his brain there, but that does indeed work. That does indeed work there. And lo and behold, the trolls are now enjoying. Yep, you got it. You can do math. I can occasionally. A one player advantage. So this is starting to work now. No problem. Ball carrier. All right, moves. That will do. Yeah, that will kind of do that. He's not trusting his own player. It's interesting to see that. He's not trusting his own player. Yep. You know, he wasn't wrong either. However, this person decides, you know what? I'm not standing firm. He'll take the push. Interesting. All right, me. Well, there you absolutely stand firm. Why the fuck are you dodging? You are not prepared. It's not working. Fuck off, alright? Everything doesn't work around you. Alright, fine. I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck he dodged. Like, why? You're a dwarf. You don't dodge. Alright, meanwhile, Necros doing their best here. Push me, push you. Alright, does choose to follow it up. A bit aggressive, but at this point here, this is playoffs here. You've got to start getting a bit more assertive. And they see what's starting to happen here. Turns the corner on what he sees as the weak corner. Only gets pushed. Holds on the reroll though. And just shoves him over here. Because, well, it's a flash golem. That's actually not bad at all here. Free safety. Moves into a better position here. Meanwhile, the other Yiffy Mott, well... Because he's up 1-0. If, if this was a tie score, 0-0, I could see the werewolf going back here. But 1-0 for the Necros. That's a more sensible move right there. Two roving free safeties. And remember, Trolls are now up a player on this drive. They started down, now they're up. So, the plan's working. Ish. Solid punch right there. Solid removal, no problem. Surprised he doesn't foul him, but notice the turn. We're down to 12. And the ball hasn't crossed midfield, has it? No, it hasn't. Are you starting to sense there might be a pattern going on here? Now, granted, he still has the wizard. All right, so I'll grant that one there. And, well, there's a file, so he greeds it. He greeds it. Now, you've been paying attention, right? That's now the second time he's greeted a not-failed block, all right? You, you do note that, right? This is Sparta! Like, I could be wrong, but that is now the second time he's greeted. And then, of course, there, one die and skulls it. Oh, hell no! Because, of course, why not? He does it once again, one of those, after he's burned his reroll, a one-die block. And then he fails it. Fortunately, he doesn't die this time. All right, here we go. Necrofirm. Solid hit, solid press down right there. Necros re-deciding what they're going in here. Why does he keep side juking? Because, again, his plan A is removals. That's his plan. And since that's not working, he's buying time for it to work. Does that make sense? He does know what he's doing. He's doing it very piss poorly, but he does know what he's doing. All right. Removals is his strategy. Meanwhile, nice hit right there. Oh, yeah. Gets the mighty blow. Does get a stun out of it there. And guess who he's tagged up? Now, granted AG4. So, no guarantee that's going to work. But it does force the troughs to have to do something. Anything. Really anything. Solid block. Solid takedown right there. Stands back up. The person who shouldn't have been throwing blocks. Still allowed. He stands up. No problem. One die block. Nah, nah. You're starting to see. Now remember. He's only got one reroll left. And he's greeted two. Do remember this. He's greeted two rerolls. Charges up the center here. Push me, push you. That's all he achieves there. All right. Fine. K. All right. Moves up another square. Now, where's the ball carrier going? This part I'm really curious about. Where the fuck are you going here? Remember, AG4. He makes the dodge. No problem. He's breaking down the field. And notice the problem he's got. Where the fuck is safe? You got it. There ain't nowhere safe, son. There ain't fucking nowhere safe. Yep, he's got the entire side Wide open. This is more of wide open than my sister on a Friday night when the home team's back in town. All right. Let's see what happens here. Push me. Push you. you got to love the dodge on this dwarf. Oh, my giddy heart. All right. Well, moves on over. Gets the mark. Yep. 
That's bait. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That is definitely werewolf bait. You've, you're not wrong. Bing! Got him! Killer. Feed by the side, laser beam! In a mind like a laser beam! It's an awful song. I can't sing that. All right. Why isn't it? Because he's AG2 and who, he's the AG4 ended up with the ball. This is why the ball centaur's not carrying the ball. All right. Easy peasy. And remember, he's already choked away two rerolls. Well, here we go. Over the top. All right. Into a gerbil. Run, cowards! He has to reroll that one. Makes it. There's the obvious pal. And there's the obvious takedown. <laughs> How do you think that was going to succeed? How the fuck did you ever thought that was going to succeed? I have no idea. Your Vault play. Look, half cage against a maneuverable team. Yeah, that was a great fucking plan. Absolutely great fucking plan. <laughs> All right, there we go. Solid takedown right there. There we are, turn 14 on the Choker Maniacs there. I mean Chorf and Maniacs. Chorf and Maniacs. I said Chorf. Right, this phrase. All right, solid block on block. Yeah, you can hear the trough coach already starting to do the wins. Yep, traditional of any trough coach. It's not working! It's not working! You put yourself in this position, and now you're expecting the dice to save you. Well, there's a double skull. Congratulations, you finally rolled one. Behold! Your shit! <laughs> 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 Another takedown right now. Now he has to get the ball back. He has to get this ball back. Side step. Takes down the poor Wolfie on a block. Moves over here and and you, you do realize what turn this is, right? Oh my. And remember, he's out the AG4 Hobgoblin. He's off the pitch. So, um, uh, question for you, Your Honor. Who the fuck's picking the ball up? No, seriously. Who the fuck's picking the ball up? Boy, wouldn't it have been nice if you still had two of those rerolls, eh? It's just saying. All right, man. Well, solid push right there. No problem. Necromaniacs here. Just need to keep frustrating the trolls at this point here. There we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Gets the take. Meanwhile, Yeffy Mott. Two dice. Well, there's a one and nine. Has to reroll that. Because he doesn't have block. And now well, he's got two rerolls. He might as well. Gets the take. Me over there. This is the play you want to take care of here. And yeah, push me, fuck you. Moves him back a square, that's fine. And welcome to turn 15. Notice he still has a wizard. Hasn't used it. Still hasn't used it there. There we go. Solid block, solid takedown. He even gets a stun. Beautifully done there. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, and meanwhile over here. Ah, well, there it is. There it is. There it is. Working. You know, you could have not wasted those two green rerolls. Just saying. Oh, oh, you might need those now. Funny that. Talk about reroll mismanagement in a nutshell. Right there is your best example of it. All right. And notice they got nothing in scoring position either. Nothing. Necro, solid takedown right there. They're now fully in cruise control here. Looks like they indeed here. Yeah, Mordheim Ghostbusters are cruising to the final eight. Well earned and well deserved. Push me, push you here. More blocking, more fistings as we like to say in the old country there. Push me, push you. Kick that cow. Yep, yeah, get that cow off me lawn. Yeah, exactly. Bang! Took him down. Woohoo! Thanks for standing still, wanker. Well, it's a late KO. It doesn't really matter by this point here. But you know what? Bravo, son. Bravo. You've taken care of just about everything that's a real threat here. Arr, arr. Turn 16. Well, there's the fireball. No surprise there. <laughs> He's dead! He's dead! Dig him all! Roll him in! That yippee mud is dead! Now that is fucking smite in a nutshell! <laughs> that is fucking smite right there! 
Confirmed kill on the mutt. And look at it. It's not like it's a rookie mutt. That's the star of the team. And he just dead. That is spite. That is spite, lad. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. If you're going to lose, you might as well lose in style. There we go. Solid hit. Another injury right there. <laughs> In the universe, in all the galaxy, there's no bigger douche than you. The pinnacle of douche dumb, good going douche, your dreams have come true. <laughs> go with the bar. I swear, go with the bar. Now the trolls are proceeding doing exactly what the game plan was on turn 16. They're finally getting the game plan to work. Shame about that scoring thing. Didn't quite work out for them there. All right, turn 16 here. Necros, as you can see, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. They did get the Necros down to all six players on the pitch. There's a slight problem. It's called the score. Yeah, there we go. Solid hit. Solid stone. We're going to see... Oh, we're probably going to see a foul. I hit. we do anyway. Yep, yeah, that dodge has just been pissing him off all day. Cannot kill the bastard. Kill the bastard. All right, who else is moving there? There we go. Push me, push you. That doesn't achieve anything. Oh, we're going to see one last foul. Please, he's got 30 player. No. Oh, you cunt. You utter fucking cunt. You're supposed to foul the dirty player on the last turn. Ah, oh, sorry. Well, there we are. Well done. Bravo there. 1-0 is your final result there. The Mordheim Ghostbusters, the Necro Firm, earned a solid win. And I'm advancing to bloody awful season 23's final eight. As for the funky tour for maniacs, lad, plan B. And you know the fun part is if you had it, as I pointed out repeatedly, if you had ingredient those rerolls that were completely not needed to be used. Well, you're not in this situation now, are you there? My god, well, as has been pointed out there by the supporters, at least the MVP is not the dead guy. For once. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. And remember, later on tonight, it is, of course, Evo. And we'll see you all at 200 MST. Nuffle, bless your dice.